In this presentation, I will uh, summarize the content of the course that we are now starting and talk about the teaching and learning model and also the assessment method. After watching this presentation, you should be able to explain what is expected from you in this course and also what you have to do in order to succeed with a good grade. So let's start by the course content. We have uh, 14 weeks in total. I'm proposing an introductory part that lasts for three weeks, followed by uh, three compulsory coursework assignments that mix uh, theory with project-based learning activities and that last throughout the remaining 11 weeks. The uh, submission deadlines for these three assignments uh, take place on weeks 6, 10 and 14 of our course plan as shown here. Let's have a closer look at this plan. Uh, in the uh, first week, we will discuss the details of the work plan, including the compulsory coursework assignments and so on. Uh, the following two weeks are meant to guarantee that the class has a common VHDL background. We will then be ready to start with the main subject of our course. Uh, the first compulsory coursework assignment targets the uh, theoretical aspects and addresses the production of video lectures and discussions for Canvas. It will last for uh, three weeks. The uh, second and third compulsory coursework assignments take four weeks each uh, and we'll talk more about them uh, during our first class meeting. The uh, deadlines for submitting your coursework deliverables are indicated here as well. You will have access to two main types of learning resources. A, a book entitled A Practical Introduction to Hardware Software Co-Design and also a set of learning materials on Canvas to which I expect you to contribute. The uh, content on Canvas will be your main learning resource and essentially comprises two types as shown in this slide. Um, lectures in the form of short recorded videos shown on the left and uh, discussions as shown on the right. Assuming a sufficient number of discussions, the final exam will be based on this type of content. Let me say a few words now about the uh, teaching and learning model. Uh, well, learning comprises standalone self-study time, but also group work. The uh, content on Canvas reflects these two types of learning activities. Self-study is addressed by the short lectures recorded on video, and group work is addressed by uh, discussion topics posted to Canvas and also through the compulsive coursework activities. Uh, we will have uh, regular weekly sessions, uh, preferably between myself and each of the working groups. And uh, please bear in mind that this is a master's course, meaning that a higher level of autonomy is expected from the students when compared to uh, bachelor courses. I envisage the uh, active participation of the class in these two forms indicated at the bottom of this slide. The uh, production of content for Canvas and also uh, carrying out lab projects. To close, uh, let me say a few words about the assessment method. Uh, as defined in the course syllabus, uh, assessment comprises two stages you will have to successfully complete the compulsive coursework assignments to get access to the final exam. Then your grade will be defined by a final written exam where no aids are allowed. And that's it. That's it. I hope that you will enjoy the course and uh, learn a lot. Thanks very much.